at age four, uh, you're not really in charge of your own life. The last thing you would expect when toddling down to the doctor with your parents is a cancer diagnosis. It didn't mean much to me back then. Um, <laughs> and I guess in some ways that's that's good. That's good. Uh, I don't let it hold me back today either. You go through intensive and painful rounds of chemotherapy and you stay in the hospital for what seems like a lifetime and uh, that's that's not what I concentrate on. You know, I was uh, I was the magician's assistant in the magic show he did when he came to the children's hospital. You know, that's that's what I remember. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the roses even if they're pulled out of a hat. One thing's for sure, if uh, I was born a little bit earlier, I would not have the arm. The arm would be gone. That was the only way to do it, to get rid of the cancer. Uh, so I've got the arm, and as a result, I am indebted to use that arm directly to save lives for as long as I can. People say to me, wow, you're going to be a surgeon. And I say, why not? You know, surgery takes a mindset. Techniques can be adapted. Um, you got to be the right person before you even take a look at how steady your hands can be. Cancer will always be my, my doppelganger, you know, my worst enemy. My mom, uh, she had breast cancer. Um, that was after dealing with mine. Uh, my grandfather actually had leukemia, so so it's genetic. Um, in my case, uh, you're you're dealing with uh, you're dealing with knowing that your own kids, uh, my own kids, are gonna have to deal with the agony, the same agony I experienced. I am a scientist. Well, I, I will be starting next year. I'm an amateur now. But I've just reached an agreement with a professor um, and we're going to be doing some honors research next year. Osteosarcoma. That's bone cancer. Uh, moral of the story is uh, do not get cancer. <laughs> I don't really mind any naysayers, they've got their own opinions, it's just that I've spent so much of my life proving them wrong. Um, when your left arm is functionally limited, uh, some people would say the first thing to go do is not attempt two-handed or two-armed activities. Um, you know, I play the guitar, I play tennis, I ski, I even played some intramural basketball last quarter. I volunteer at Presbyterian St. Luke's uh, Hospital every Friday night for about four to five hours. Uh, what better to do on a Friday night? You, you tell me if I'm missing something. Um, I work at the information desk. I connect patients to each other. Um, I do the best that I can. Uh, I really feel like I'm making a difference just, just by these, you know, simple little acts of kindness. Do I think I'm someone special? Well, part of me says no because I've got a clone of myself recording this video. <laughs> but everyone's got their own story. Mine's only just beginning as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm going to make a difference in the lives of a lot of people. And that's something that cancer can never take away.